All right, so in this video, we'll be unboxing the Switch OLED as well as the case that came out with it, and let's get into it. All right, before we open this guy up and the case, I brought out a bunch of things to try to compare this with, as well as I'm gonna give some commentary about who I bought this from, as well as all of the other things around it. All right, so I bought this from Best Buy, and the pre-orders went up on July 15th, and I ordered it, and then it came to a release date, and they didn't have it at the beginning of the day and they wanted up getting it later in the day. It was kind of frustrating because they didn't tell me that I was gonna get it later that day. They just said, they'll we'll get it when it comes in. It was very frustrating. Uh, so if you saw that on Twitter, I did actually receive it if you didn't see my update on that. And so let's go ahead and uh, start going into this. So here's the OLED and then the case. So I'll unbox both of these. I have these other things that I wanted to test out or compare the OLED against. And so we're gonna switch camera angles so we can get a little bit better uh, unboxing angle and then we can start opening it up. All right, so I got the OLED and the case here. I'm gonna go ahead and open the case first since it'll be smaller box and quicker. So I believe this comes with the case as well as two screen protectors, one for each switch, one for the regular switch and one for the OLED model. I'm not sure which one's which, but I'm sure it tells you exactly which one is which. So that's what those are for. I'll put those on later. Most of my switches already have them on that, but it'll help with the OLED. So. Here's the case, pretty simple. It's supposed to fit both uh, types of switch units and it's got a little game case it's kind of nice and very small which is nice so it's not too much more to carry around but that's essentially it, it kind of matches my switch that's why i got it as well as i needed one for this so let's go ahead and go over to the oled and i don't think this one's got stickers covering anything so this just opens up and there it is i personally really like the white so that's really nice. I enjoy that color. I just like that it's white. Hopefully I can keep them clean, but I do enjoy just the look of it. So there's the right one. Here's the left one. Fairly nice. They look, you know, just the same as other ones, but let's go ahead and now let's take out the OLED and I feel like it's a little heavier. I'm, I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments if it actually is heavier, but that does feel heavier. And the screen already, even off, I can't really tell, like show you exactly what I'm seeing, but it's very glossy and I enjoy it. This is all glossy as well, rather than this other, uh, the original one was more matte. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but once we have them uh, next to each other, I'll show you that it's a little bit more glossy on this guy. And I don't know if it's just because it's new or not, but let's go ahead and set that aside and keep opening up everything else. So you got a new dock, which has Ethernet in it. So there's the back of it and there's the front. Looks really nice. The over here is still black. They worry that switch actually goes is still black. And I wonder if they updated this at all to help with putting it in, but this comes off and it just comes off. It doesn't actually attach anymore, which I thought was interesting. They, I guess people will just take it off and never put the back back on it, but I, def I definitely put them on there. It's got the LAN port, the, USB-C for power, USB-C for power, HDMI and LAN port. It's kind of hard to show you with the lighting I got, but there's the logos there, or the labels for that. And I'm gonna go, go ahead and put this back on, which you just put it on like that, I believe. Yep. And it's still got two USB, it just doesn't have the internal one anymore but that's okay i never really used more than just these two so there's the dock and then 
HDMI cable. I have plenty of these. Another adapter for the switch, which is nice. I, you know, always gonna like to have specifically for the switch um, adapters, even though you can use pretty much anything, but just in case I wanna use that. And then it comes with another grip, which looks slightly different, but kind of looks more like the one that you would get that have the charging, like the charging grip, I think is what they call it. So let's go ahead and slide these on. There you go. Yeah, it feels about the same. Pretty nice though, I, I like it. I always like these ones though. At least if I have to use the Joy-Cons uh, Joy to actually play, I would rather put them in the grip than like separately, but let's go ahead and put all that. I think that's all that's in the box. Nope. Oh, and then the little, you got the little rails for holding it handheld. If you're playing the games in handheld mode, you got those then. And that's all that's in the box. So I'll set some of this stuff aside. Uh, I didn't open this up before, but I'll do that now. This is the power cable. Looks like it's just the same, pretty much the same one. Well, slightly different color, which is kind of cool. So I know which one goes with the, with this one, if it, in case it does require a different amount of power, but I don't think it does. So we will just not have to worry about that too much. All right, so let's go ahead and compare them side by side. So you have, this is the original Switch, came out in 2017. And so let's go ahead and do this guy and take those guys off. So I do have a screen protector on this guy. So that is slightly different. As you can see, when the screen is off, the black really show where this doesn't look black as much as this does. So I'm gonna try to see if I can show you guys how glossy this is. See how glossy that is? I kind of like it if I can keep it glossy. There's a light for you. Try to give you as much detail on the, on the screen itself while it's off. Now let's go ahead and flip it over. There you go, those are the two next to each other. I thought I'd show you guys the switch light next to it as well. So let's go ahead and put it here, maybe. Maybe, let's move that. Something like that. Though, so it is by itself about the same size. It's slightly bigger. It is slightly bigger than the original, but not by a lot. So hopefully all my accessories work with it. I do like this new kickstand though, where it's kind of in the middle. I don't know how to open it. Oh, you open it up like at the bottom. So instead of, this one's very difficult to open for me because I don't have nails. And so I do like that this one's a little bit easier to just put your hand in and open that up. and. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely so much better. So I'm gonna try to show you where you can open it up like that and it stays and then you can open it to any angle you want up to there. So that's really nice. It's got a very good hinge. So you can open it pretty much at any angle. So I got it open at different angles where you can actually hold it up. Let's see, not a great angle to show you up, but you can keep it at pretty much any angle you want and it to stay. So that's nice. And it's got a satisfying click when you put it back down too. So that does not feel like as, as cheap as this did where this is only at one angle and that's it. So let's go ahead and 
I'll show you guys those two next to each other. There's all the different models of Switch right here with the different sizes. The screen is extremely larger on the OLED than this is, and I'll show you that in a second. Let's go ahead and put these Joy-Cons back on. And I haven't actually put it on the OLED yet, so let's see. So I felt that. That's the original one. It's been used a little bit. Let's go ahead and see how this feels. Ooh, that is nice. I do like that a lot. I'm not sure. I've heard rumors that they're, they've improved how those go on so it doesn't wobble as much. It definitely feels more premium, which is nice. So let's go ahead and move this guy. Not too much more comparisons with that. It's mostly stated these guys. So I'm going to turn this guy on to my main screen. Let's go ahead and turn on for the first time the OLED. Wow, okay, that looks a lot. Let's go ahead and change my current switch to, where's the modes, is it themes? Yeah. So I try to change the angle a little bit and zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see the differences on the screens. It's kind of difficult to show in video format. So definitely look out for other videos of more technical ways of showing the screen. But I'm gonna go ahead and go through some of this. I can tell you now the speakers are again harder to show through here of how much better they are but they do sound a lot better and so i'm just going to pause here and finish up the setup and we'll be right back all right so i've set it i've completely set it up already i'm gonna go ahead and go back here and i'm gonna show you guys the home screen so this guy uh a little bit more dull i believe than this guy. This guy looks a lot more brighter. Trying to equal it out there. And it looks really nice. Um, it's kind of harder to show in video, obviously, but for the most part, I enjoy how much brighter this looks than this one does. This one looks a little bit more dim, and it's not something you would need if you've never seen the OLED, but as soon as you see the OLED, you definitely absolutely want this more than this. But this is cheaper, so I don't think Nintendo is going to stop selling this one. But they essentially just work the same way. But the screen is a little bit better, arguably, on the OLED. I'm going to try to go ahead and switch the SD card into my OLED and see if my games pop up just by doing that. And I don't actually know where the SD card is on the OLED. So we're going to be trying to find that together. Got the guy right here. The SD card was removed and it turns off oh, okay so it's slightly different location here all right i zoom back out the sd card goes here instead of going up it's slide it's to the side this time so this should just go should just slide in there you go and then it's telling me that i plugged in an sd card and so i need to do a system update Let's go ahead and zoom through that real quick. All right, so we're back on the main screen. I gotta change that, because I don't like doing that. It's being used by another Nintendo Switch. Okay, so I need to do this separately. Let me know down in the comments if I did this wrong. I think there's a special way you have to actually do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. It is slightly harder to take the SD card out there, but let me know down in the comments if I'm supposed to, maybe I'm supposed to prep it first and then move, then move it. I'm not sure. So I will look into that on how to change that, but I can do that. Turn that one back on. SD card will be back in that one. Let's go ahead and check out some accessories. So I have the Satisfy Grip, I use this quite a bit if, I, if I'm just using the regular switch with the Joy-Cons. So let's see if this will actually fit. It does not. 
So it looks like the Joy-Cons and everything make it a little too wide here. So you have to get a special satisfied grip, sadly. So that's not gonna work, but let's go ahead and take these guys off and try the Fixture S1. I just recently made a video on this. Go ahead and look down in the description for that and you can check that out. There'll be a link to, to that guy down there. See, I think this might, nope. Wow, okay, doesn't fit either. I'm not sure that you can actually get it to fit either. Maybe if you stretched it a little bit. No, the plastics don't bolt bend enough. So hopefully they will come out with another satisfy uh, grip as well as the Fixture S1, maybe an S2 that works for the OLED and, or an S1 OLED, something like that. And I will have to tweet that out and let them know that it doesn't actually work. And so let's go ahead and uh, check out putting these Joy-Cons back on and then check out how it looks and fits in here. Let's go ahead and there you go. Okay, so it, it doesn't turn off because I am not connected to anything, but that works really well. And there's not too much here. Now I'm wondering if this guy will fit in here. So let's go ahead and take it out and let's see what happens when I fit it in here. Okay, so it fits slightly different and it's not enough to actually make it so it doesn't work, but so this works. Doesn't matter which uh, dock you have. I figured it would work, but I thought I would check it out since it's a uh, part of Nintendo stuff. So let's go ahead and check out the case, putting each one in there. So that goes there, I believe. And then this just closes up and I think it's actually supposed to be this way. I'm not sure. Oh, the switch logo is that way, so. Looks like it fits no matter how you put it in here, but it probably goes in. Actually, it doesn't seem to matter which way you put the switch in or these, this fold, as long as it goes, you know, as long as you put it in there in a reasonable way. So let's go ahead and take that guy out and check out the OLED in there. And it seems to, yeah, fits just as well. Doesn't seem to matter which way you put it. You might want to worry about your screen a little bit if you don't put a screen protector on it, but this came with a screen protector, so that's what, the reason why the case would be that way a little bit. So nice little case there. Let's go ahead and uh, wrap everything up and we can switch camera angles back uh, to where we started and finish up the video. All right, so that was the Switch OLED and all the accessories and everything I have for the Switch and trying to see if any one of them would fit. And as you can see, sadly, the amount that they actually changed it does affect some of these more, I would say, niche products for Nintendo. So you can't just go ahead and use the Fixture S1 or the Satisfy Grip, sadly, with the OLED. Hopefully those companies that make those products will come out with something for the OLED and again sadly you can't use what you have but if you want to upgrade that's something you have to just be aware of as well as they gave you other accessories that will work with everything that is the OLED as well as the original like I saw with the dock the original one will fit in there obviously the light won't ever fit in the dock because it's not supposed to be docked and that's worse with the OLED one since it's a little bit longer this wouldn't fit even, you know, even more. I don't like what they did with the hinge on the back. So that is a little bit of a gripe for me. I don't like that the hinge on the back of the dock comes off completely, but everything else I really enjoy. Hopefully I've heard some rumors that they are updating these joy cons and they did that with the OLED. So hopefully they're a little bit better or resistant to more drift. I haven't really ran into that, but my wife's switch has. So hopefully I'm gonna play playing more handheld games. I've been getting into that more. I'm kind of sad that these didn't work because I've been using these more to play handheld uh, Switch games. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the OLED, what you guys think about the video, what do you guys think about it not fitting, some accessories, and all the other opinions you guys have. I would love to talk about all of that down in the comments. I also just wanna add in that I enjoy that they made a case for it 
and that it came with screen protectors for two different switches in case you buy the old one and it, and it still comes with that as well as if you bought the new OLED one you get one as well and it, it all works with both products. I kind of like that Nintendo does that and tries to keep those all working together but before we get out of here like this video if you liked it dislike if you don't hit the subscribe button and then turn bell notification on so you get notified when we upload new videos and when we go live. I've started streaming on here so you'll get notifications when I go live as well as long as you uh, subscribe and hit that bell icon. There's also links down there to Twitter, a bunch of other things that I just talked about in this video as well as a link to Castlevania games, I believe is the name of it. I got it wrong last time. I'm pretty sure I said Castlevania games, which it's mania. So Castlevania games. So I do get a little bit of money every time you guys use that link and that's so much appreciated. It, all, it funds a lot of what I purchase for this channel, cameras, games, everything. So much appreciated for the people that have used it. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and check that down in the description. It's also got a 10% off and that I don't think expires. So just go ahead and use that anytime you guys wanna buy anything from Castlemania Games and that helps out the channel. And as always, there's other links down there. Go ahead and check those out. And some of them are affiliate links. If it's pointed to Amazon, most likely is an affiliate link. And thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.